You're looking to grow on YouTube? Now I'm a YouTube certified expert and I'm gonna give you some juicy tips to get you started. The best YouTube growth strategy that you'll ever see on the internet for free. Here we go. Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm Alan Spicer, I'm your YouTube certified expert. And if you're looking to start a YouTube channel, grow your YouTube channel, or push your brand out there into the second largest search engine on the internet, you should click subscribe start creating. Okay, so let's assume a few things. I'm going to assume that you have a YouTube channel and you're looking to grow your channel. Maybe you've made a few videos in the past and just need to dial in and understand what your long-term growth strategy happens to be. I'm going to deep dive into five things that you should really focus on on growing your YouTube channel in the long haul. But I want to know, where are you currently standing at? How many subscribers have you got? What frustrations do you currently come up against? Or what tricks and tips did you use to implement to grow? Quite curious down below, leave a comment. Number one, I banged on about this on this channel over and over and over and over and over again. For you to grow on YouTube nowadays, you have to dial in to a niche. You have to understand what type of content you're making and then what makes you different to other people. Are you a gamer that does tutorials on a set game? Are you a makeup artist that only uses budget makeup? and shows you how to do the great fantastic looks, but for cheap. Are you a technical channel that focuses purely on Android and open source software? You'll notice there's a main category there and then it drills down deeper. The reason for that is that if you're gaming and then you cover every game in existence, people get confused and lost, or they'll subscribe for one video that you did on Call of Duty and then you never make them ever again because you move on to Destiny and Fortnite and Minecraft and Mario and whatever. But if you pick a topic and drill into that niche, every time people arrive on your channel, they know that you're within that bubble. In my case, I always make YouTube tutorials or videos that will help you grow your social media branding or push your content out there. A niche is a way for you to drill down, find your little crack in that ice and slowly chip away until it cracks and helps float you to the success you're looking for. And of course, if you're picking that niche and you're drilling down further, you're more likely to find something that you're really passionate about and willing to talk about over and over and over and over and over and over again. Which leads to point number two. Now you've picked your niche and you've decided on something that you are really passionate about and just want to talk about for hours. How about you write down the 20 most pressing questions you would want to ask yourself when you first got into this experience. If you could sit down with an expert in your niche and ask them 20 questions, or if you could go back in time and tell yourself three, four years ago when you was just getting into this niche, just getting into this game, that kind of thing, those kind of questions, that's what you need to write down because those are the questions that people want to hear answers from, from you. So for an example, you're a beauty expert. Your questions would be something along the lines of, how do you pick the right makeup? How do you pick the right foundation? Is my foundation too light? Is it too dark? How do I apply eyeliner? How do I put on lip gloss? Lip glosses versus lip stains, what are better? See, I'm not even in that niche and I can think of the questions that if I was researching, I'd want to know. So you need to step out of your shoes and ask yourself or your expert in your niche those questions. And those 20 questions are your first 20 videos, your first how-tos. I mean, do it for yourself right now, in your own head. Feel free to even pause this video if you want to. Go and get a piece of paper, right? Pick your niche, drill down into a topic, and then write 20 questions to yourself. I'll play along with you for a split second. Let's say you're a gamer and you want to dedicate yourself to Destiny and Destiny 2. So, what games console should I play Destiny 2 on? What's the best weapon? How do I get the best weapon? What's the best class? Warlock, Titan, Hunter. What's the best subclass? What supers should I use? Do you see what I'm doing? I just keep asking myself questions. Each one of those questions is a video or is a video series. This is the Galahorn. These are the four video steps how you get the Galahorn. So if I can do it for topics that I'm not even covering, you can do it too. Three, now you have your niche. Now you have your 10, 20 video topics and questions. Now you make sure you're doing your keyword research and titles, descriptions, tags, SEO, the lot. But we'll focus on the keyword stuff right now. What you need to do is go to YouTube, type in the top. So for example, we used the same thing, Destiny 2, 
or YouTube tips, and it will automatically fill in suggestions underneath. These are topics that you can use. These are topics that you can make videos around. I use a, a tool called Keywords Anywhere, and all that does is help me understand the traffic next to it. So, if I'm a small YouTuber, I'll be aiming for things with like 100 views per month, 300 views per month, 1,000 views per month. Why? Because it's a smaller niche that I can get my foot in, establish authority, get a few subscribers, people are clearly searching for that term, and then once I'm big enough, once I'm building momentum enough, once I'm generating daily organic views that just keep trickling in from those videos over time, then I can step up to the next level, the 1500, the 2000s, the 3000s. Also, the keyword research allows you to have a look at the 20 questions that you've written down, the frequently asked questions, and slot in a keyword that may be relevant. Because not only have you answered a question, but you've got to make it searchable as well. Which steps into four, the SEO. Now, search engine optimization, once again, is another thing that I've banged on about. But once you've sorted out the videos that you want to do, the 20 videos that you've aimed for, you've done the keyword research to make sure that the right keyword is in the title, whether it's how to get Destiny 2 Galahorn, whether it's how to put on Kylie Jenner lip gloss, anything. Those keywords and the how to and the question involved and something that helps people, you've started your step towards some decent SEO. Why is search engine optimization important? Well, if they don't find the video right now, but the tags are relevant, going forward in two, three, four, six months time, and people are continuing to search for that question, they will find you. They will watch for longer, they will increase your retention time, it will improve the ranking of that video, and it will lift you. I published a video which took forever and a day to rank, but when it finally ranked, it now gets me constant YouTube views daily. But when it first started, it was just a dead fish. It took a while to rank. But when it was ranking and it had the right tags at the bottom, right, long keyword rich tags that answers the question that people are searching for, then it became my cash cow and it started generating subscribers and views. And tip number five. Now that you've done all the groundwork, you know your niche, you've got your 20 videos, you've optimized them, you've aimed for a long haul process, you need to start thinking of video series. You need to think of four or five videos that all connect to each other, that all run one after another, that people can watch one and then have to watch the next four to either understand what you're doing or to get through to the next step. The importance of a video series is watch time. Now, if you land in my playlist, which for example is how to become a YouTuber, which I'll put a little link up here, it's eight videos stepping you through how to become a YouTuber, how to pick your niche, how to record a better video, how to pick your equipment, how to write videos, how to sort out your search engine optimization, how to do branding, how to make money, how to collaborate. All of those sound really important. All of those are important. All of them are keyword optimized, all of them are searchable, and all of them are great individual videos. But if you tie them all together in a series playlist, and they watch one of any of those eight videos, it will then suggest the other videos against it. And it will auto play them in certain situations. That means that someone arrived for how to become a YouTuber, they found the how to create a niche, they watch eight videos instead of one, and I get, you know, nearly an hour's worth of watch time from one person rather than five minutes. And you can do the same. It could be, once again, stepping into beauty. It could be you product testing or you showing people how to put on a Kylie Jenner anything. Lip gloss, eyeliner, lip stain. Or it could be a YouTube series about how to do Halloween makeup. You do eight videos on how to do cat lady and falling off face and clowns and anything. But they're all stringed together. They're all together in a series. They're all optimized and they are hooking people to watch the next one. The more they watch, the more watch time you get, the more retention you get, the more audience control you have, the more YouTube ranks you because you've clearly got the retention rate right, and then you rank, you grow, you get more subscribers, and you get there to your end goal in the long run. And that is a YouTube growth strategy from a YouTube certified expert for free on YouTube. For more YouTube tricks and tips, I've done a playlist up here. I strongly advise that you go and check my How to Become a YouTuber series. There is a playlist here. Remember to hit that subscribe button for regular YouTube tricks and tips from a YouTube certified expert. Hit that notification icon so you never miss a single video when it goes live. Go out there, start creating.